Hi, it's Leslie with more of your February four card class. So this is the one that could be a Valentine, or if you choose not to use the hearts and do something different, then you could um, you could definitely make it some other kind of card. Now you will notice that your card base has two score lines in it. Okay, this is what we call a modified Z fold, okay? So you start with a Z fold, but normally with a Z fold you only have, well, let me show you. All right, so here we fold our card and then we fold backwards, okay? So here's our Z, let me show you, okay? So this is just a tall vertical Z. Sometimes you have the four and a quarter by 11 and you have the long Z. This is just a taller, shorter, you know, some of it is short, like that, okay? So now normally you have just a smaller piece for your Z, okay? And you can see into the inside of the card. This time we're not gonna be able to see inside of the card. And because Blushing Bride is such a light color, I didn't, do a white for the inside, although you definitely could add one if you desire. Okay, so then this four and a quarter, no, four by five and a quarter, excuse me, um, allows you to see a little bit around the edge, and then this is what's going to open. Okay, so you'll be able to see both sides of the designer series paper and you can choose maybe you want your front this way and the stripes on the inside that is totally up to you okay I'm gonna do mine this way all right now you will notice where I found your punch okay but that's gonna be covered so no worries there right um, I am going to First, go ahead and add this. Now, I find it easier to go to, to do adhesive in two ways. One, way over, let's see, I want to make sure I've got it on the right side, the correct side, not necessarily right. All right, there we go. We want that there. And then we're going to go in here. Now, there's not much of a base, so I am going to just put some adhesive here and then one in the middle, because this is likely gonna get some action, okay? People like these kind of cards that they can kind of play with. And then we're gonna add that on there, like that. Okay, so that stamp and seal should keep it in place nicely, all right? There, okay. So then these, layer like this, but we're going to take my Flirty Flamingo ink, and from this, I'm really loving this Punch Party set, and it is one you can earn um, as a celebration host. So if you and some friends put your orders together and you get to $300, you get this stamp set for free. Now you'll have to flip a coin with your friends to see who gets the set, but that's for you guys to figure out. Anyway, I'm going to use this. You make my heart happy right there. All right, so I'm going to open up Flirty Flamingo. And we're going to ink that. You make my heart happy. And stamp it right on that little blushing bride heart. like that, okay. Then we're gonna layer these two hearts together and I think I'm gonna go ahead and lay this one flat, and here this one flat, and then we'll pop up the whole thing. Oh, you know what, hold on just a second. I'm not sure, I want them layered right on top of each other. I think I might want them more like that. Yeah, because that fills up more of the space. So let's grab my dimensionals and put them 
there, and there. We're going to just put lots of dimensionals on here. I don't usually skimp on dimensionals because when you're, you're mailing a card like that, you want to make sure. Now, if you happen to have, you want this to be a Valentine's card and you have a happy Valentine's Day or something that could go on the inside. So let's take those off and decide where we want to put that. Now you'll notice when I trimmed the paper, I was left with a little scrap and I decided to send that along with you. All right. Now my thought is I'm going to go opposite to what I did here. So if you put the flowers facing up, you might want your stripes at the bottom, but I want to do opposite. So I'm gonna use my flowers and it's long enough that I can wiggle it around and find the part that I like best. I actually like these bigger flowers least, so I'm gonna have those kind of falling off the edge. All right, so let's put some adhesive on that. Like this, okay. Right down here. And then I'll just trim off whatever I don't need. Right. I was not getting into measuring and everything. All right, so I kind of like that, and I like it not straight. I like that the stripes are straight, but I like that this is not. But I almost forgot we have more. I got to do the layer on here first. Now, normally I put it on here, on the back of here, and I can do some, but. Once you put those raised hearts, it gets a little trickier. Oops, that's going to go right in the middle, Leslie, right where that heart punch is. Okay. Oh, yeah, a little bit. All right, so then we need some here. Come on, break. Thank you. All right. A little over here, I think. So now... I can decide how I want that. I think I want it just like that. Okay, so you make my heart happy. Hope you like that one. That was a fun one to do. Thanks guys.